Hello everybody, I am Balji Dhaka from Pinnacle Coaching Center and today we are going to discuss paper code 721. This is part 2, part 1 we have already discussed and in this presentation we will discuss question from 26 to 50. Question number 26 is, a man spends 75% of his income, his income increases by 20% and his expenditure also increases by 10%. The percentage of increase in his saving would be how much? 100 rupees income, 75 expenditure. Expenditure. This is the first case. If his income increases now 20%, that means income has become 120. And his expenditure also increases by 10%. That is 10% means 7.5 rupees. And now it is, uh, his expenditure has become 82.8. 82.50 82.50 that is 7.5 more than 75 percentage of increase in saving increase in saving earlier 25 rupees saving 25 rupees saving now it is 20 plus uh, 17 uh, 17.5 that would be equal to 37.5 now the gap here is a uh, 70.50 earlier it was gap 25 rupees so the increase is 12 rupees 50 pesa on 25 rupees on 100 the increase would be equal to 50 percent increase 50 percent increase answer is c question number 27 area in an uh, square unit of triangle formed by the graph x 4 y 3 and 3x plus 4 y now the graph would be x4, x4 and y3, x4 and y3, y3 and 3x plus 4y. If I put here y is equal to 0 then 3x would be equal to 12, 12x would be equal to 4 and here we will have, if I put here y is equal to 3, 4 here, uh, y is equal to, if I put here, x is equal to 0, then 4y is equal to 12, y would be is equal to 3. So, x, 4, y, 3, when? So, in, instead of writing this, let me write again. This should be like, x is equal to 4, when y is equal to 0. When y is equal to 0, x is equal to 4, y is equal to 0. And when x is equal to 0, y is 2, 3 x y x is equal to 0 y is equal to 3 now this is the first case this is the first case in the second case in the second case there is one coordinate the coordinate is given that is x 4 and y 3 that is x 4 here and y would be 3 y 3 so 4 3 you can write here x y x is 4 y is 2 3 you can write this expression in this format now this would be the then a, a, a triangle we have to find the value of this triangle so this would be equal to this is 4 and this is 3 so this is base and height 1 by 2 base 4 height 3 that is equal to 6 that is equal to 6 answer would be d next case, case uh, question number 28 a train leaves a station a at 7 am and reaches another station D at 11 a.m. A, B, another train B leaves at 8 a.m. This is here 8 a.m. and reaches A at 11.30 a.m. The two train cross one another. When you have to find, when will these two train cross, uh, cross to each other? Now, if see here 7 am this train start and reaches at 11 am. This is the speed you can say in 4 hour. 4 hour this train reaches to B. On the other hand, second case is that this train start at 8 am. 8 am and reaches at this point in 3 and a half hours 7 by 2 hours you can say 3 and a half hours so this train is taking less time it means speed is more 
फोर एंड थ्री सेवन बाई टू दिस इज द टाइम यू कैन टेक एल सी एम मल्टीप्लाई टू टेक एज ए टोटल डिस्टेंस सेवन इंटू टू सेवन इंटू फोर दैट इज एट ट्वेंटी एट इंटू टू ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी सिक्स टोटल डिस्टेंस यू कैन टेक फिफ्टी सिक्स वी हैव क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई टू ऑल सो दैट वी नो दैट देर शुड बी नो फ्रैक्शन वाइल कैलकुलेटिंग सो दिस ट्रेन ट्रेवल्स लेट से टोटल डिस्टेंस इंस्टेड ऑफ टेकिंग एक्स और हंड्रेड वी आर टेकिंग फिफ्टी सिक्स वाई वी आर टेकिंग फिफ्टी सिक्स दैट इज सो दैट इट इज नॉट गोइंग फ्रैक्शन सो दिस ट्रेन इज गोइंग फोर आवर फिफ्टी सिक्स किलोमीटर फिफ्टी सिक्स किलोमीटर दैट इज स्पीड इज फोर्टीन किलोमीटर पर है स्पीड इज फोर्टीन किलोमीटर नाउ दिस ट्रेन स्टार्ट एट सेवन ए एम एट एट ए एम दिस ट्रेन हैज ट्रेवल्ड 14 kilometer it means the remaining journey would be 42 56 minus 14 that is 42 kilometer is the remaining journey now at b the train starts at 8 am and the journey total from the, in the same time that is till here till here why till here because uh, till here this there is no till here uh, from this point in this time this time and this time would be same they will cross to each other so when the time will be same means at one inst instant they will meet so 42 hours is the time uh, is the distance 42 is the distance and their speed opposite they are going in opposite direction so here the train b 56 was traveling 7 by uh, train b was covering at the speed of 56 divided by 7 by 2 7 by 2 that is this speed is 16 km per hour here speed is this speed is 16 km per hour and this speed is 14 km per hour so ratio is like this 14 16 16 plus 14 30 and distance would be 42 between these two point so to cover 42 km 16 and 14 because this why we are taking 14 because this train has reached here so now the completion between this point and this point they will travel like this this is going from this this is going from this from 8 am from 8 am so 14 plus 16 that is 30 km in one hour they are covering in other words uh, they will take 21 by 15 hours after after 8 am so that is equal to 1 uh, 6 by 15 hours would be equal to 1 hour uh, 24 minute 1 hour 24 minute 8 am is already there 8 plus 1 9 am 9.24 9 am and 24 minute that is 9 am would be the answer answer is d so what we have done in this question is that first this there are two train a and b one train is going in 4 km and the other train is going three, uh, the same distance 3.4 or 3.5 km so the different here the ratio is time ratio is 8 to 7 and Time ratio is eight to seven, and speed ratio would be seven to eight because speed is here more when the time is less. This train is at a going speed of eight, or you can say sixteen, or you can write here sixteen and fourteen. We have taken sixteen and fourteen. This train is going with the speed of sixteen, then this train will go with, uh, with going with the speed of a uh, fourteen. Total distance we have taken fifty six y, so that seven and eight they can divide. They can divide to 56 instead of taking 100. That otherwise it could have gone in a fraction. So in first one hour, train A is only running. That is 14 km have gone. Remaining distance would be 42 km. And from here point after 8 a.m., 42 km in journey, they will start. They will cross each other at what time? At what time they will cross that uh, one other? 42 divided by total relative speed that is 30. 16 plus 14 that is 30. So 42 divided by 30 would be equal to one hour and 24 minute. After 8 a.m. it means 9:24 will be the answer. D. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन ए मैन गेव फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ इज सेविंग ऑफ रुपीज एटी फोर थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड टू इज वाइफ फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ एट्टी फोर वन थाउजेंड वुड बी इक्वल टू फोर्टी टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टी डिवाइड बाई टू वुड बी इक्वल टू फोर्टी टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टी टू इज वाइफ एंड डिवाइड इज रिमेनिंग अमंग रिमेनिंग वुड बी ऑल्सो सेम रिमेनिंग अमंग टू हिज सन ए एंड बी of 15 years and 13 years of age respectively a and b a b 15 years 13 years he divided in such a way that each of his sons when they attain the age of 18 age of 18 this is here 18 it means 3 years and 5 years 5 year gap 3 year gap would receive the same amount at 5% compound interest per annum the share of b would be Share of B would be. They will receive the same amount. Here the gap is for two years. Gap is for two years. You can say P into one plus R. That is for why three years. Uh, this is five years. A is three years, and this would be equal to. P one one plus four by hundred and this is five years means this would be the amount this is principal and amount is same in both the cases after a both the cases after this period this is three because his age is fifteen and after three years it will, he will become eighteen years here after five years he will become eighteen years so this window is five years now P and P by one would be equal to would be equal to You can cancel to this, and it would be here two power two. So it should be here twenty six. Here it is five, so it would be big twenty twenty one divided by here twenty square. That is equal to four four one and four zero zero. So in this ratio there. There, this is the ratio of their uh, principal. So that is equal to four four one and four zero zero, or amount was four two zero five zero. We have to divide this amount in this proportion. Question is the share of B. B share would be four hundred divided by four four one into four four. Total would be eight four eight. Total would be eight four eight. So eight four one into four two zero and five zero. I zero, and that will go by five. So twenty thousand he will get. Twenty thousand he will get. Answer is A. You in such kind of question you can directly think in that form. It is given here five percent, which is equal to ratio, which is equal to ratio twenty and twenty one. So twenty one, but the gap is for two years. So you write directly twenty two years and twenty two. Directly you can solve. If you have solved one or two kind uh, earlier such kind of question, then directly you can think in this uh, stage also directly. Next question, question number thirty. A fruit seller buys some oranges and sell by selling forty percent of them, he realizes the cost prices of all the oranges. All the oranges. Now he is purchasing. Cost price that is hundred rupees, and out of uh, he is selling in hundred rupees this item, and cost is of a forty rupees. You can say forty rupees item now cost which he incurred he is selling in hundred rupees. So in fact he is getting sixty rupees profit on forty. Sixty rupees profit on forty it means. That would be three. One hundred fifty percent profit he is getting. One hundred fifty percent profit he is getting. What is next? As he oranges, as the oranges being to grow overripe, he reduces the price and sell eighty percent of the remaining oranges. Eighty percent of the remaining remaining portion is sixty. Eighty percent of sixty would be equal to. 80% of 60 would be equal to 48 rupees item. 48 rupees item. 
he is selling at a half the previous rate of profit previous rate of profit is earlier it was 150 now it would be half that is 75 percent so 75 by 100 75 by 100 would be the profit or you can write in this format 48 into 175 by 100 this would be the selling price that would be equal to 84 rupees 84 rupees now what is the question rest of the origins being written are thrown away overall percentage of profit 100 rupees was the first price out of 100 rupees item he sold 40 item 40 rupees item at 100 rupees it means he has just covered the cost and the remaining that is 60 80 percent are okay that is 48 item is okay 48 rupees item is okay which he incurred cost and he is selling that at 50 percent price of earlier price, earlier profit that is 175 by 100 we are writing here that is 75 percent is the profit now selling price selling would be equal to 84 rupees so net profit would be equal to here 84 rupees answer would be b overall percentage of profit would be 84 because he is now selling all the item in 180 rupees he purchases 100 rupees so difference is the profit which is 84 rupees next question question number 31 In this expression, you can consider it A, B and C is equal to 1. Here this is given 1 by A, 1 by B and 1 by C is equal to 0. And then we have to find A square plus B square and C square. What is the value of this? This is the question we have we have put here P A is equal to A, P B is equal to B. Why we are putting here so that it can be uh, easy to understand. That's why we are putting here. Now if I square both side, I square both side, then we will have squaring both side we will have A square plus B square plus C square plus 2 A B plus B C and plus C A plus C A which is equal to 1 we have opened this break open this and then it is equal to 1 now we have to find the value of this p a we have considered a so a square plus b square plus c square this would be equal to this so value of this would be equal to 1 minus 2 a b b c and c a a b b c and c a and here we will have a p b q means this is opposite like 1 by a 1 by b and 1 by c is equal to 0 so a b c would be equal to here b c plus a c plus a b which is equal to 0 this is equal to 0 this is given in this format so that is equal to this in other words b c plus a c plus a b is equal to 0 it, it goes the, the, this side then it will become 0 so this would be equal to 0 now here put b, a b b c c a which is equal to 0 minus 2 into 0 that would be 0 so it would be equal to in fact this would be equal to this would be equal to 1 answer is c next question question number 32 in this question this expression is given x is a rational number x is a rational number rational number means this will be in the form of format of x by y x by y format now here this expression given which is equal to 2 then the sum of numerator and denominator of x so in this question it is very difficult to put value so we have to solve all this so open this bracket open this bracket when we will have then we will have x3 plus 1 1 3 plus 3 into x into 1 and then x plus 1 minus here you can write x3 minus 1 3 minus 3 x into 1 and x minus 1 now if you want to simplify here you can simplify it let me write here x3 again 1 3 x square then this would be equal to 3x minus x3 then it will become minus minus plus minus minus plus this would be 
थ्री एक्स स्क्र थ्री एक्स स्क्र एंड देन माइनस दिस वुड बी टू माइनस एंड माइनस एयर प्लस तो एंड अल्टीमेटली इट विल कम माइनस माइनस थ्री एक्स दिस वुड बी माइनस थ्री एक्स यू कैन कैंसिल टू दिस थ्री एक्स स्क्र प्लस थ्री यू कैन कैंसिल टू दिस दिस वुड बी टू टू एंड सिक्स एक्स स्क्र सो यू कैन राइट हेयर थ्री एक्स स्क्र टू एंड सिक्स एक्स स्क्र यू कैन राइट दिस एक्सप्रेशन इन दिस फॉर्मेट टू वन प्लस थ्री एक्स स्क्र नाउ हेयर दिस वुड दिस इज डिनोमिनेटर ओपन दिस ब्रेकेट ओपन दिस देन वी विल हैव एक्स स्क्र प्लस वन प्लस टू एक्स माइन माइनस एक्स स्क्र एंड देन प्लस एंड माइनस टू एक्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ओपन दिस ब्रेकेट ओपन दिस देन वी विल हैव when when we will have x square plus 1 plus 2x minus x square minus x square and minus 1 and then plus 4x so you can cancel to this you can cancel to this this would be equal to here this would be 2x here so 2x plus 2x 4x here we will have now 2 थ्री एक्स स्क्र प्लस वन आई एम राइटिंग दिस इन दिस फॉर्मेट एंड डिवाइड बाई फोर एक्स फोर एक्स यू कैन से दिस वुड बी नाउ टू एक्स विच इज इक्वल टू टू दिस इज इक्वल टू टू दिस वुड बी इक्वल टू टू देन दिस वुड बी फोर एक्स एंड थ्री एक्स स्क्र प्लस वन यू कैन राइट दिस थ्री एक्स स्क्र माइनस फोर एक्स माइन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो प्लस वन वुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो then you can write this 3x square minus 3x minus x plus 1 is equal to 0 3x you can take common here take common 3x then x minus 3 x minus 1 and then here x minus 1 would be equal to 0 so 3x minus 1 and x minus 1 would be equal to 0 x here is equal to 1 by 3 Because here x is equal to one, but we have to uh, take in rational number that is x y coordinate. So x is equal to one by three. Sum of the numerator and denominator would be one plus three. That is four. Answer is B. So however, this question is not difficult, but this question is lengthy. Why this is lengthy? Because this is given in rational number. So what we have done in this, we have just bracket, open the bracket, and solve according to the quadratic equation, which was ultimately in the end. So. Answer is B. Next question, question number thirty-three. A car travels from P to Q at a constant speed. If its speed were increased by ten kilometer per hour, it would have been taken one hour lesser to cover the distance. It would have taken further forty-five minutes lesser if the speed was further increased by ten kilometer. The distance between the two cities would be how? How much? If you want to solve this question by using x y technique, x y y technique, it will take a lot of time. It will be very very difficult to get answer in the end. I will suggest you a better technique and very uh, important shortcut method for such kind of questions. You take option root, and in, during taking option root, you should be enough careful that the gap is here one hour. And in one hour, ten kilometer is the difference. So make a factor, make factor, use factor technique here. That is resulting in difference of one. There cannot be difference here. It is difference of six into seven. Because ten, you can take common here everywhere is ten. So six, that is sixty into seventy, is equal sixty in seven hour or seventy in six hour. In case of a B. In case of B, so B should be the answer. Why should B be answers? Now see, verify this. Verify this from. Suppose earlier the speed was, earlier speed was a sixty kilometer per hour. Sixty kilometer per hour. To going four twenty, it will take seven hours. Now speed is increased sixty to seventy. Sixty to seventy. 
now it is taking 6 hour 6 hour so 1 hour lesser it is satisfying the condition it would have been taken further 45 minutes lesser if the speed was further increased now speed is 80 km so 420 and then it should be equal to 21 by 4 that is oh, 5 1 by 4 you can convert into 5 or 15 minutes so 5 or 15 minutes means again 45 minutes less which is also satisfying this condition if the speed was further increased by 10 km per hour. So in this way we found that it is satisfying all conditions. What we have observed from the option is that see the difference of 1 km because here 10 km and 1, km, 1 hour is given. This is enough to solve this question. This is enough hint to solve this question because here 10 km means gap gap should be 60 or 70. 60 and 70, 6 and 7 factor you can take. If it would have been 20 in such kind of question, then take a, take in this format, turn, uh, let's say, uh, make factor and the difference should have been for, uh, 20 in that way. Like here 60 and 16 to 7, 17 to 6, here the gap is 6, uh, 10 km per hour. In uh, there, uh, th uh, that kind of case, you have to observe in that angle. So, if you have experience, you can solve such kind of question by this way, otherwise it will be very difficult to solve. Question number 34. The equation 3x plus 4y is equal, uh, is equal to 10 and another format is given minus x plus 2y is equal to 0. Have the solution AB, the value of A plus B we have to find. Now, 3x plus 4, 4y is equal to 10 minus x, you can write here minus 3x plus 6y we are multiplying both side by 3 is equal to or you can write directly here because here it is given 0 so write minus x is equal to minus 2y in other words x is equal to 2y so put here x is equal to 2y if i put here 2y then it would be 6y plus 4y is equal to 10 and 10y is equal to 10y is equal to 1 here if y is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 then 3x 10 minus 4 that is 6 and x would be 2 so y is 1 and x is 2 question is a plus b 2 plus 1 that is 3 3 would be the answer we have found x is equal to 2 y is equal to 1 by putting from the value of this expression question number 35 if x is given x is equal to root this and then we have to find the value of this expression. Now see from this, see from this, here if I divide it, if I divide it by x, let's say 2x, x square divided by x that is x minus 2 by x and minus 3, minus 3 because minus 3 by x we will have or you can take common here you can take common here x then we will have here two uh, like this this would be now equal to this and again here divide this expression by x then we will have this is equal to minus 3 this would be equal to then 3 you can take common and then x minus 1 by x and minus 4. We have simplified this expression in this format. Now we know the value of x that is root 5 plus 2 and 1 by x would be equal to 1 by x is equal to root 5 plus 2 and you rationalize it then we will have this a square minus b square would be equal to 5 minus 4 that is 1. So 1 by x and 1 by x is equal to root 5 plus 2 and minus root 5 plus 2 that would be equal to 4. So here you can put 4. 2 into 4, 8. 8 minus 3 that is 5. 3. 3 into 4, uh, 12. Minus 4, 8. 5 by 8. And which should be equal to 0.625.
If you divide by uh, 5 by 8, then you will find 0.625. Answer would be C. Next question, question number 36. Here it is given A is equal to A, B and C. Then the value of this expression would be how much? A3 plus B3 plus C3 minus 3ABC is equal to 0 when A plus B plus C is equal to 0 and here A is 2.234 B is equal to 3 1 to 1 that would be equal to 53y now it should be equal to here a plus b and minus c that would be equal to 0 because my this minus this would be equal to 0 so a b plus c is equal to 0 then this expression would be 0 answer is b question number 37 here it is given x square plus y square plus 1 is equal to 2x then the value of this expression would be how much now see from the, uh, from this x square minus 2x plus 1 and plus y square is equal to 0. We have brought to this side. This is equal to in fact x minus 1 square. This entire is equal to x minus 1 square because if you open this bracket you will find this plus y square is equal to 0. In this case x is equal to 1 because this you can represent x minus 1 is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. You can say x, I put value x here then we will have 0 and here y is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. Question is x3 that is 1 power 3 plus y which is 0 so it should be equal to 1. Answer is D. Answer should be D. Next question, question number 38. If this expression is given then the relationship between A, B and C would be. See I put here, I put here 1 a is equal to 1 then this will satisfy b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 1 a b c if i put here then this would be 3 into 3 9 and a 1 2 3 3 power 2 would be 9 so it will satisfy when we will put here a is equal to b is equal to c that is answer is a next question question number 39 sin theta you can say alpha plus cosecant alpha square plus this expression is given now put value any value let's say if you find in this format always put try to put value that will be easier 45 sine 45 is equal to root 2 plus cosecant 1 by root 2 sine 45 and plus cosecant would be equal to root 2 square of this plus you will find here cos that is 1 by root 2 plus root 2 square plus k 45 would be equal to 1 and 1 that is 2 and here you open this bracket you will find 1 by 2 plus 2 plus 2 into 2 into root 2 and 1 by root 2 you can cancel to this plus here you will find 2 1 by 2 plus 2 and plus 2 that is equal to 2 plus 2 4 4.5 and 4.5 that would be 9 so 9 is equal to k plus 2 and k would be equal to 9 minus 2 that is 7 answer is b answer is b we have just put we have put the value and open this bracket question number 40 Angle of elevation of the top of a vertical tower situated perpendicularly on a plane, plane is observed as 60 degree. This is 60 degree you can say. From a point P on the same plane from another point Q which is 10 meter vertically above the point P. 10 meter vertically above point P that is Q that is Q angle of depression of the foot of the tower foot of the tower means this is 30 degree this is 30 degree. the height of the tower value of H would be how much this is 60 degree this is 60 degree is given and this is 30 degree this is 10 is given and we have to find the value of H now H by X H by X is equal to root uh, this is tangent 60 which is root 3 
एच इज इक्वल टू एच बाय रूट थ्री एच बाय रूट थ्री इज वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स नाउ टेन यू कैन राइट टेन दिस इज प्रिवेंटेबल डिवाइड बाय एच बाय रूट थ्री एच बाय रूट थ्री विच इज इक्वल टू टेंजेंट थर्टी टेंजेंट थर्टी इज वन बाय रूट थ्री दैट विल बी इक्वल टू थर्टी एंड एच एच वैल्यू थर्टी आंसर वुड बी बी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन Here it is given now in this question you can put value theta is equal to forty five or you can put any other value let's say theta is equal to forty five and t n is given here so in this case this is sine three because then n value would be three in this case so you can write this expression in this format sine three theta माइनस सॉरी प्लस कोस थ्री थीटा दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ए टी थ्री देन माइनस साइन फाइव थीटा एंड देन प्लस दिस इज देन दिस वुड बी माइनस बिकॉज हेयर सिंबल इज हेयर अदरवाइज यू कैन पुट ब्रैकेट एंड इट शुड बी इक्वल टू कोस फाइव थीटा डिवाइड बाई साइन थीटा प्लस कोस थीटा साइन थीटा एंड वी आर पुटिंग वैल्यू है थीटा इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव सो फोर्टी फाइव दैट इज वन बाय रूट टू वुड बी इक्वल टू वन बाय रूट टू देन इट विल बिकम पावर ऑफ थ्री वुड बिकम वन बाय रूट टू पावर ऑफ थ्री वुड बिकम वन टू रूट टू दैट अगेन टू रूट टू माइनस हेयर इट वुड बी फाइव सो दैट वुड बी इक्वल टू रूट टू इंटू फोर रूट टू दिस वुड बी इक्वल टू फोर रूट टू बिकॉज रूट टू इंटू रूट टू इंटू रूट टू इंटू रूट टू एंड इंटू रूट टू सो दिस इज टू दिस इज टू टू इंटू टू दैट इज फोर फोर रूट टू माइनस वन बाय फोर रूट टू डिवाइड बाय वन बाय रूट टू एंड प्लस वन बाय रूट टू now this has become you can take here lcm that is 4 root 2 here take lcm of all this 4 root 2 and this would be then 2 plus 2 minus 1 minus 1 and here you take that would be equal to 2 plus 2 4 4 minus 2 2 so 2 4 root 2 in other words you can say Here would be equal to two root two, and here this is take LCM root two one plus one that is two root two. Now here we have one two root two, and then two into two into root two. You can cancel to this. This would be equal to one by four. So this entire expression would be equal to one by four. Now see from the option which is reflecting one by four. This is root uh, one by root two and one by root two. This would be equal to then one by two only. This cannot be one by two and one by two into one by four. This is representing. This is representing one by four. If I put here theta is equal to forty five. So option C will, uh, is the answer. Next question question number forty two. Question number forty two. Here it is given a secant a plus tangent a is equal to two. Then the value of sine a would be how much? As we know, secant square theta minus tangent square theta is equal to one. This is the formula which everybody knows. So secant theta plus tangent theta and secant theta minus tangent theta is equal to one. A square minus b square we have opened. We have converted a plus b and a minus b. Here we have given secant a tangent b. Second and tangent b would be equal to two. Then this would be equal to second. You can write right here a would be equal to one by two. But here we have given second a and plus tangent a is equal to two. So we have two forms now. Two second a is equal to two plus uh, one by two is equal to five by two. Uh, second a is equal to five by four. Now from the Pythagoras 
here write 5 and this is 4 secant is 5 by 4 so we have written in this format this is Pythagoras triplet 3 4 5 if this is 5 this is 4 then this would be 3 now so value of sine value of sine a would be equal to 3 by 5 sine a is equal to 3 by 5 is equal to which is equal to 0 0.6 so answer is c next question question number 43 now from the c 3 sin theta plus 5 sin cos theta is equal to 5 then the value of this expression would be how much 3 5 2 1 from this option now see uh, how can we how can it be 5 when i put here theta is equal to 0 sin theta is 0 then 5 cos theta would be 5 cos 0 is equal to 1 cos 0 is equal to 1 so i have put uh, put in theta is equal to 0 that will represent this equation it means this would become 0 and 5 that is cos 0 is 1 so it will satisfy value of 5 sin theta minus 3 cos theta i have put theta is equal to 0 then this would become 0 then cos 1 minus 3 cos would minus 3 would be the answer minus plus you can say answer is a question number 44 if theta is an acute angle and tangent theta plus cos theta is equal to 2 then the value of this expression would be how much now this is 2 this how can it be 2 when we have theta is equal to 45 theta is equal to 45 then this is 1 and this is 1 it will be 2 so 1 plus 1 that would be 2 answer is 2 question number 45 a b c d is a parallelogram in which diagonal a c and b d is intersect at o this is parallelogram a b c and d in which diagonal a c this is a c and b d b d intersect at o if e f g and h e f g h are the midpoint of a o a o e then f d o f g and h these are the midpoint then the ratio of the parameter of the quadrilateral e f g h to the parameter of parallelogram a b c d a b c d we have to find the ratio of parameter this parameter. now if you join this then we will have this expression this would be half half this is also parallel if this is let's say 10 then this would be 5 because there is one property when we join midpoint and if this is 10 this would be 5 2 is to 1 ratio so this would be 5 this is 10 then this 5 10 5 10 5 here 10 10 10 10 total would be 40 and here 5 5 5 and 5 that is 20 so 20 is the parameter of this and 40 is the parameter of this this would be equal to 1 is to 2 ratio answer is c 1 is to 2 ratio answer is c question number 46 Here we have given this expression and we have to find the value of this. Now in this if I put theta or you can alpha value is equal to here the value of alpha I put here let's say alpha put I here 90 degree 90 degree then we will have this would be 90 degree means would be 1 and this would be 0. So u and is equal to 1 it means u4 would be 1 u5 would, would be 1 u6 would be 1 so u6 is equal to 1 2 into 1 minus 3 into 1 and plus 1 plus 1 that would be equal to 2 minus 3 plus 1 3 minus 3 that is equal to 0 answer is d answer is d you can put any other value you will get the same answer so such kind of question you should try to solve by putting value there will be no calculation in that question of question number 47 the length of a tangent from an external point to a circle is this is circle this is external point this is tangent and length of the tangent is 5 root 3 if the radius of the circle is 5 unit this is 5 unit now 90 degree this is 90 degree then the distance of the point from the circle 
we have to find the value of this is distance of the point from circle from the point distance of a uh, this portion we have to tell now this is in fact base this is perpendicular perpendicular and base this would be the angle because this is 90 degree in other words you can say like this this is 5 root 3 this is 5 so 5 by 5 root 5 root 3 is equal to is equal to that would be equal to 1 by 3 1 by 3 is equal to tangent 30 so here this is equal to you can say tangent 30 if I know the value of tangent 30 I can know the value of this also because perpendicular now if this is equal to 30 degree then I can know the value of this and this would be equal to 5x sin 30 sin 30 would be equal to 1 by 2 so x would be equal to 10 x that is entire this would be equal to 10 this is 5 then this would be 5 because total is 10 this is 5 this would be 5 so answer would be 5 unit a should be the answer next question question number 48 question number 48 in this question it is given in triangle abc in triangle abc c is an obtuse angle Bisector of the exterior angle at A and B meet at BC and AC produced at D and E respectively. If AB, AD, B are equal, then ACB would be let's say this is triangle A, B, and C. Exterior angle exterior angle would be this is exterior angle bisector of this bisector of this so this would be in fact bisector this would be bisector bisector angle is this and the bisector of exterior angle at a and b meet at bc this is bc when we produce to BC, BC and AC, this is AC. If we produce this, then this will meet to AC. This is AC at D and E, D and E respectively. This is till now. If AB, AB, AD, AD and BE BE are equal than ACB ACB we have to find the value of a this now see from this let's say this is you take it this is X this is Y then if this is Y then this would be Y because these are equal then this would be equal if this is x then this would be x these two sides are equal then angle would be also equal isosceles triangle see from this one see this angle would be in this case this angle if you see then this would be equal to 180 minus 2y it means we are talking about this angle which is equal to this is equal to this and this x plus this is equal to 180 minus x 180 minus x divided by 2 this is total 180 minus x and this would be equal to half of that so this is one equation and in the second equation if we see 180 minus 2x that is this and this we have to, we are talking about this which is equal to y plus this y and this would be equal to 
this is half half of this so this entire is 180 minus y this would be 180 minus y divided by 2 180 minus y divided by 2 now from these two from these two we can find that if we solve further then we will have see here x plus 180 by 2 that is 90 minus x by 2 minus x by 2 this would become x minus x by 2 is x by 2 x by 2 plus 90 similarly here we will have y by 2 now here you can write 180 minus minus 2y is equal to or you can say 180 from this equation first equation first 180 now to this we will go to this side 2y plus x by 2 and then 90 this is 90 so this side it will become 90 it will become 90 this is 90 so from this we can find that this is 1 and from this you can find you can find that this would be equal to y plus 90 because 180 by 2 90 minus y by 2 this would become y by 2 plus 90 y by 2 plus 90 this side it is 100 so 100 minus 90 that is 90 this would be 90 this would be equal to 90 plus y by 2 plus 2x y by 2 plus 2x now this is 90 this is 90 it means this equation is equal to this so 2y plus x by 2 is equal to y by 2 and plus 2x to simplify it further you can multiply it by both side by 2 then we will have 4y plus x y plus 4y 4y minus y 3y is equal to 3x x is equal to y so from this here we can find the value of x is equal to y that is this x plus y we can find from this x is equal to y now you can put in any equation you can put in any equation that is if x is equal to y then we will have 2y divided by y by 2 i am here putting x is equal to y then 2y plus y by 2 would be equal to 2.5y that is 5 by 2y which is equal to 90 degree which is equal to 90 degree y would be equal to then then y would be 36 this is 36 this is 36 because these are two equal 36 plus 36 72 180 minus 72 would be 108 108 answer is b so from this question what we can do that this angle and this angle is equal and 180 minus 36 36 from this we can find like this next question question number 49 question 49 a vision equilateral triangle a b c this is equilateral triangle and o is its circumcenter this is o circumcenter then the aoc a o c aoc uh, aoc would be how much angle formed at the center would be would be double as compared to angle formed at the formed at the uh, circumference so if it is 60 degree then this would be 120 degree two times answer would be c question number 50 a b c d is a cyclic quadrilateral a b c d is a cyclic quadrilateral let's say this is a b c d a b c and d side a b is extended right here like this a b c d because this will be then easier side a b A, B, C, D is cyclic quadrilateral, cyclic quadrilateral, let's say, let's say this is quadrilateral, and A, 
ए बी इज एक्शन इन टू ई ई इन सच अ वे दैट बी ई इज इक्वल टू बी सी दिस इज इक्वल टू दिस बी सी ए डी सी इज सेवेंटी डिग्री ए डी सी ए डी सी दिस इज सेवेंटी डिग्री बी ए डी बी ए डी दिस इज नाइंटी फाइव डिग्री डी सी इज डी सी एंड E we have to find the value of this. In fact, this would not be a straight line, uh, which it seems here, because this is this can be here like this could have been here, and so angle of this would be equal to this is seventy. Then this would be one hundred ten because opposite angle, sum of opposite angle in a quadrilateral cyclic quadrilateral is one hundred eighty. So this is one hundred eighty. This is one eighty. One hundred ten. This would be seventy. If this is ninety-five, then this would be equal to this would be equal to eighty-five because the ninety-five ninety-five plus eighty-five uh, would be equal to uh, one eighty. If this is eighty-five, this is eighty-five, and this angle and this angle is same. This angle and this is angle angle is same. So if it is if it is seventy, uh, then this would be both would be equal to one hundred ten. One hundred ten plus seventy that is one hundred eighty. And this and this, so this angle and this angle would be equal. So this would be fifty-five and this would be fifty-five. This is eighty-five. This is fifty-five. Total would be equal to that should be equal to one hundred forty. Answer is A. One hundred forty, fifty-five and eighty-five. In this way, we have covered in this presentation question from twenty-six to fifty. Thank you very much for watching this presentation.